The ghostwriter behind Donald Trump's best-selling book The Art of the Deal, Tony Schwartz, appeared on CNN with Alison Camarota to discuss the ongoing meltdown inside the White House following, not just the release of the anonymous New York Times op-ed penned by a member of his administration, but the release of legendary Watergate journalist Bob Woodward's new book Fear, Trump in the White House. But what Schwartz had to say when Camarota asked him what he thought was coming next for Donald Trump was shocking, to say the least. Schwartz has long been a critic of Trump and his administration, so of course, everything he says should be viewed through the lens of a detractor. Nonetheless, while he doesn't necessarily have prosecutorial experience and therefore can't really comment with any real concrete knowledge on the ongoing Russia investigation, he does have intimate personal knowledge of Trump's affairs over the last four decades. Schwartz's opinion on special prosecutor Robert Mueller's next move stunned even his host what will happen today may seem more extraordinary than what happened yesterday and tomorrow again. I think what is happening, and you can see it in his tweets, you can see it in the language he's using, is that he's more and more isolated. He is at the point, and I think he would be right to be at this point, to believe that there's almost no one he can trust. Camarota then asked her guest, and then what happens? What does he do then? Bob Mueller probably has 40 years' worth of crimes that he is going to unfold, of Trump's crimes, sometime in the next 60 to 120 days, that will change this, from a legal perspective, in a dramatic way. Again, although Schwartz is not a federal prosecutor, he is well within his wheelhouse to presume that Mueller knows at least everything he knows about Trump and that knowledge clearly includes illegal activity.